welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Joe Beretta. Thursday! <laughs> this week in the much anticipated Prometheus comes out. Directed by Ridley Scott, the science fiction film centers around a crew of the spaceship Prometheus. <laughs> We love space movies. Uh oh. What time is it, Lee? Do you feel that? I do. Source Fed's Top 10 Best Space, space movie, movie Edition. Okay, criteria space. Not just sci fi or aliens, but they have to have the setting of space or deal with the setting of space. And they're judged on impact on the genre, performances, visual pleasure, creativity, and just all around awesome. Okay, go. Starting off in the number 10 spot is Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. Not only did it spark the phrase, Khan! But it wasn't just a TV series movie, it was a movie movie. For the love of God, they killed Spock! Khan! Number nine goes to Dune. Now, I might get some fighters on this one, but it's a personal favorite of mine, okay? And I'm making the freaking list. And it's one giant weird fest, but it's written by Frank Herbert and given to us by David Lynch. Oh, and Sting is in it, so there. Yeah, I love Sting. What up, Sting? Love you. The number eight spot goes to Alien, which had an amazing way of terrifying and mystifying audiences everywhere. Plus, you had director Ridley Scott and a killer cast like Sigourney Ripley Weaver, Tom Totally Underrated Scarrett, and John Always Awesome Hurt. Not to mention it was the first time we met this guy. We are popping the 2009 reboot of Star Trek in the seven slot. Remakes suck. This one didn't. J.J. Abrams nailed it. It had action, awesome and killer performances, and sex appeal. Chris Pine. Chris, Chris Pine. I love Kirk. The number six spot is a hot debate, and I demanded that this be on here, and this is Sunshine. It's directed by Danny Boyle, and he doesn't make bad movies. This movie actually made me kind of like Chris Evans, which is crazy, and it just creates atmosphere and tension, and oh my god, it's amazing. Just watch it. We have to move on. Number five is Spaceballs. Not because it's a comedy, but because it's a good movie. I mean, it's hard to pull off satire and still have a good film. Mel Brooks, you're awesome. No one makes Mel Brooks movies anymore. My daughter's awesome. She loves this movie. Number four is Ron Howard's Apollo 13. Okay, not only do you have an incredible cast, Tom Hanks, Gary Sinise, Ed Harris, but you have an awesome story that actually happened. A real life hero space story with, you know, killer performances and wonderful filmmaking. Number three, Moon. <sighs> Incredibly underrated and incredibly awesome. Sam Rockwell carries this movie. It had limited money, hardly a cast. I mean, it's Sam Rockwell and a robot voiced by Kevin Spacey. And it still manages to blow your mind with his performance and the exploration of human condition. Watch it, okay? Just watch it now. And that brings us to number two, which is 2001 A Space Odyssey. Why? Because you wouldn't be watching any of these space movies that we're talking about right now if it wasn't for this movie. It was Kubrick at his best. He was innovative, unforgettable. It paved the way for the visually stunning and wonderful world of sci-fi. <laughs> we're at number one! Okay, number one is a try, a three-way tie. Star Wars, the original three. Because even though we're using three movies in the place of one, you can't mention best space movies and not mention Star Wars, the original three. Still standing the test of time, revolutionized the movie industry, cult classic. And we're talking the original three here, not the special yeah. edition, none yeah. of those re-releases, the yeah. original unmolested by George Lucas three. Yep. Love them. Boom. Boom. There it is. And sure, we had to put some in the honorable mention category. I mean, it's wall -E, Fifth Element, Serenity. Total Recall, Starship Trooper, The Last Starfighter, Enemy Mine. So let us know what you guys think we missed in the comment section down below. And then after you're done doing that, click the like and subscribe buttons for us. And if you want to check out more stories of today or anything that we've ever done, you can hit this annotation or you can go to sourcefed.com because everything is there. I am Joe Beretta. I am Lee Newton. Come on!